Hello everyone. Today we are going to delve into the topic of security in blockchain protocols. We will discuss how different blockchain protocols ensure security, identify common vulnerabilities, and explore how these vulnerabilities are mitigated. So how different protocols ensure security? Blockchain security is achieved through a combination of cryptographic techniques, consensus mechanism, and decentralized architecture. Let's look at how some of the major protocols ensure security. In proof-of-work consensus, miners solve complex mathematical puzzles to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain. The computational difficulty of these puzzles make it extremely costly and resource-intensive to alter the blockchain, providing strong security against attacks. In proof-of-stake consensus, validators are chosen based on the number of coins they hold and are willing to stake as collateral. These validators risk losing their staked coins if they act maliciously creating a financial disincentive for dishonest behavior. In delegated proof-of-stake consensus, stakeholders vo vote for a small number of delegates who validate transactions. This voting system ensures that only trusted delegates are chosen, and they can be replaced if they act against the network's interests. And in practical Byzantine fault tolerance PBFT consensus, nodes reach consensus through a series of message exchanges, even if some nodes are faulty or malicious. In fact, PBFT can tolerate up to F faulty nodes in a network composed of 3F plus 1 nodes, ensuring a robust fault tolerance. Despite these inherent security features, blockchain protocols can still be vulnerable to various attacks. I will present some common vulnerabilities and their mitigation strategies. First of all, 51% attacks. That means if an attacker gains control of more than 50% of the network's computational power or staked coins, they can manipulate the blockchain. To make it mitigate this vulnerability, we can increase the network size and decentralization in order to make it more difficult and costly for an attacker to gain majority control. Another vulnerability is civil attacks. An attacker creates multiple fake identities to gain disproportionate influence over the network. In order to mitigate this vulnerability, we can implement identity verification and require economic stakes to reduce the risk of civil attacks. Another risk in blockchains are in smart contract codes. In fact, bugs or vulnerabilities in smart contract code can be exploited by attackers. To identify and fix these bugs and vulnerabilities in smart contracts before they are exploited by attackers, we can conduct thorough code audits using formal verification methods and we can implement bug bounty programs. And the last but not the least is phishing attacks by attacking users of a blockchain and contributors. While attackers trick users into revealing private keys or other sensitive information. In order to protect users and the blockchain from attackers and prevent phishing attacks, we educate users about security best practices, we implement multi-factor authentications, and advise to users to use hardware wallets. To summarize, blockchain protocols employ a variety of mechanisms to ensure security from cryptographic techniques to consensus algorithms. While camel vulnerabilities exist, they can be mitigated through a combination of technical measures and user education. Understanding this security aspect is crucial for maintaining the integrity and trustworthiness of blockchain networks. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope this session has provided you with a clear understanding of security in blockchain networks, in smart contracts code, consensus, users, and contributors. See you next time.